going on youtube we got another banger gameplay for you guys today this matchup i'm going to be taking on the go geezy in a three thousand dollar pl tournament up to this point we are in the final four semi-finals of this tournament three thousand dollar tournament like i said um two thousand to first uh second place gets 500 so essentially this is a 500 dollar game really important game deep into the night you know how long these pl tournaments run and we're gonna be playing someone we played multiple times in the past few years someone that has improved so much um, and that is goat geezy i'm gonna be running with alabama in this game i've been running with them all tournament long um i wouldn't say i was playing the best ball but you know we we were getting it done we made a you know really deep run we're in the final four now and here we go he's gonna be running texas he's gonna be running a little bit of 335 wide double mug um, you know those type of uh, defenses honestly maybe 6-1 in this matchup as well and if you know, played college football 25 you know how good texas is with their d-line and one of my previous videos a lot of my previous videos i had been playing them um, i think this is my first time using bama we're really just going to try to establish the run game and not have to deal with these six quick jumps that texas has it's right here dual on the first play and we're going to get shot um, in the backfield Right here, we're setting up a nice little combo. We're going tight end uh, corner route and then a corner route from the inside guy. And bro, we don't even have a chance to throw it. This is what you have to deal with when you play Texas and run when they run with 6-1. Um, it's just a constant pressure, A gaps, B gaps. You don't know if they're sending four, you don't know if they're sending six. And right here, we actually do get quite a bit of time. We're gonna make a nice, cross the body throw with Jalen Milrow and guess who that is that's K Law we're out of there with Kendrick Law 97 speed to the Baja much needed uh it was third and 16 we were definitely gonna go for it it was a nice stop I did not think we were gonna get a touchdown out of it um nonetheless you know Kendrick Law 97 speed gets out of there for us that is much needed now we get to do what we love to do and go play a little defense right here guys you see I'm setting up my depth chart or my substitutions for my 335 penny if you guys want a video on this, I feel like I have run one of the best pennies coverage wise, uh, you know, disguise wise, uh, blitz wise. You know, I feel like I'm always getting pressure, getting sheds, disguising up the look. This with the switch stick is one of the best defenses in college football 25 and will be one of the best defenses in Madden 25 as well. I know that's right around the corner. Geezy back to back to, um, you know, in the backfield running this trips tight end and it's going to be a lot of runs. A lot of verticals you know what trips tight end what do you expect is verticals runs we have we're using this guy uh deontay lonson i think he has a couple good abilities i'm not sure what they are but you know he's a pretty good user he's 87 speed not the fastest but i feel like he makes really good tackles he blows up the run quite a bit it's right here geezy back to pass and he's gonna throw us a book on the first play and he has a nice uh under uh, he undercuts the ball and you know makes a nice catch i can't be too mad i have kendrick law at DB on the left, yeah, you heard that right. The guy that just scored the touchdown will have him playing defense too. So I don't know if he's going to be paid enough to do both of those things. It's right there. Look at him making a play on the ball, hit sticking Isaiah Bond. If you didn't know that in college football at 25, if you're let's just say you're using a team, um, Texas for example, and you know their DBs aren't the fastest. They do have some good DBs, but they're not that fast. What a lot of competitive players do, a lot of comp players do, they put Isaiah Bond, the receiver. Um, that you see Geezy has out wide is right here another blind uh, a, a blind a bad read a bad read could have been picked should have been picked Maybe Isaiah bond you could play in multiple positions You could play with receivers at cornerback So I have Kendrick law playing that left side It doesn't really matter because I'm able to switch stick to him I would do wish he was a little taller, but you know, obviously he does not have good coverage that good man stats None of that is right here. We do switch stick onto him, but he makes a great great read I actually had not been hit with that, you know play this whole time playing college football i thought my deep blues would just play it great dot right there i gotta make sure i remember that next time it's right here good high ball to bolden down to the one yard line quinn ewers is dotting this up now i would like to see him do this for four quarters this is you know i, I like the way the game is going now hopefully you know i'm able to continue moving the ball on offense and if i am i feel like you know this matchup is going in my favor Right here, guys, we're going to run 26 duo to the right. So we ran 26 duo to the left first play of the game. We got shot. We decided to flip it to the right. Oregon, really good playbook filled with good passing plays and good running plays. Once more, 26 duo to the right, and he misses his tackle. We're going to cut it inside. We're going to juke, excuse me, spin to the right. 
could have maybe spun back inside good stick work jam miller very very good running back for the uh, alabama crimson tide right here we're gonna decide to pass what we're looking for right here is the speed out on the left it's a money route on the short side bunch kendrick law can you get out of there we try to make a miss we are on conservative that's why i didn't do a juke or a spin right there well you can spin on conservative if you didn't know that but kendrick law does not have a good spin so we end up not spinning we decided to just go the old-fashioned way with the left stick try to make something happen right here toss to the right can we make something happen what did i tell you the bama two two running back system is pretty op when the other guy miller gets tired you sub in Haynes, and he could spin just as well as Miller. We're going to go up 14-7 right here. Four-play drive. We really don't have to pass, right? If I, Gizzi's probably a little like, you know, this dude's not passing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to pass, man. Say what you want. I will be passing when Madden 25 drops, uh, assuming there's no insane A-gaps. But, you know, playing these 6-1 disengage A-gaps is just super tough. It's right here. Gizzi back to pass. I think we sent four right there. Great coverage. He had a, a route open, but the thing is, it was the spacing wasn't that good right i was able to use her kind of both at the same time maybe get a switch stick involved right there right here geezy decides to run the ball and he just completely butchers the spin move um third and 12 we love this i was expecting a no huddle let's see what he got for us right here right here cover three cloud both sides we're just really trying to protect the corner routes right now he is abusing that route so i gotta take make adjustment um, I noticed in this game the cloud flats do play a little more back good for go stopping corner routes You know towards the sideline, but they're able to sometimes throw it right in that sweet spot right there He's attacking Kendrick Law. That's something I maybe should have started looking into You know, maybe moving him out to the other spot of the field or maybe just taking him out the game in general um, I, I didn't think about it at the time, but now realizing, you know He was attacking him quite a bit early on in this gameplay right here fumble alert we're playing phenomenal defense um you know could have got that fumble i feel like when his trips is on the right um i'm able to really cage him up but when his trips is on the left I'm, I'm, i don't know what to expect the short side trips right he's right here jihad campbell coming in free he throws a questionable read i'm not going to ask for a pick on that i'm really happy that he you know made him drop the ball third and 27 this is this is it right here we get off the field he does get ball a half but we're going to probably be able to you know chew the clock a little bit and play good good defenses right here he said f it i'm gonna just throw it right. i'm gonna just throw it because he was getting screamed at i think i did send four he was getting screamed at and he just threw it right at us sometimes my user is just a little sleep it's all good fourth and eight this is where we want him we got two hooks on the field we're, we're giving him the sideline if he wants to throw it, he can i didn't want to really get aggressive and put a you know cloud flat but we switched it on phenomenal defense that's what i'm talking about I'm gonna rewind it real quick. It's not like I did anything crazy right here, guys, but look on my switch stick on the slot cornerback. I switch stick onto him, and I I just I just have a great user. At the end of the day, the pressure that does comes in free. The switch stick to the vert hook kind of guarded that post for a second, guarded, guarded that hitch. He did have the other post going across the middle, but he just did not have any time for that. Phenomenal defense, good switch sticking by me right here we're in the driver's seat just have a little bit of stick and we'll be all right and that was awful stick all right guys so after running on second down getting blown up i decided to take it to the two minute warning right here we're kind of in a dire you know situation i could honestly run an rpo that's what i probably should have called right here is like a rpo instead we throw a book a dot i'm not sure what you call that very questionable play by me i got away with one right there i won't lie it was opened and then it wasn't open and then we ultimately somehow end up catching it we're really looking for the speed out on the short side um we're setting up some protection we don't want to get screamed at it's just so it's just so sad when you get screamed at by the six one right here tight end drag we actually had a good amount of time right there that honestly nothing was open and you know it was kind of busted combo i was trying to really take advantage of the speed out and the streaks see if he played a little aggressive but i think he ran like a cover four shell Everything was covered and we end up hitting our drag. But you know, it's third and inches right here, right? This is a must, like we're in Wildcat. This this gotta be so easy to get. Um, we decided to call hike and there's just nowhere to go really. I could have maybe went to the right, but man, my, my run stick was, my run vision was questionable right there. Biggest play of the game easily so far. We're gonna go back to our money play flood. Um, you know, tight end streak just in case he gets froggy. Uh, we have it right there a little bit, but he has an amazing switch stick. Good switch stick by Go Geezy. Um, 
I don't know. I just kind of panicked and it was under duress of that play call. I probably maybe should have ran. I just didn't. I don't. I was kind of distraught that the fact that you know he blew up my my wildcat. That wildcat. You guys know how good wildcat is, right? People score one play touchdowns on it, and I couldn't even get one inch on it. So I didn't go back to it. And nonetheless, good switch stick right there. I felt like the guy was open, but he just had a good, amazing switch stick. So all of a sudden, Geezy is back in the driver's seat. We're gotta make a tackle, and we don't. Baxter, he's gonna fall down, and this is a tough situation for us. The worst case scenario is probably gonna happen where he scores, we don't have that much time, and then he gets ball at half. So I don't know. We've been dom I don't know if we could say, even say we've been dominating. We've been playing a phenomenal defense, but so has he, right? But the, I feel like I just haven't put myself in good situations. Second and goal, Quinn Ewers gets absolutely demolished. I feel like I'm really good. You know, there's there's sometimes people get the speed option on me, but I feel like I defend the speed option and like this little QB gimmick runs really, really well. It's third and goal. Let's see what he ends up calling. If I do recall, he goes back to the speed option. Is that a fumble? That should have been a fumble, I think, unless it was a forward pass. I don't know what just happened. You know, for one, he doesn't have any timeouts. I know there's no runoff, so he would have been able to get his field goal, but still, that, that was a questionable play call. I thought he was gonna pass. Trips tight end in the red zone has been so money for so many years with the tight end post, with the in routes coming across the field, with the running back going out on a route. On a route. I thought for sure it was a guarantee he was gonna call that. Um, I had a couple of zones ready to go, but the thing is I still don't really know what to do versus those trip trips tight end passes. 11 seconds left, I would love to get a field goal right here. And yeah, I don't know. I, I Could I have thrown R1 maybe guys? Let's rewind it back. He did switch stick onto the corner route. Um, he kind of took his guy out to play, but no, I don't think I could have thrown R1 at all. And yeah, man, this has so far been kind of a snooze fest, but I'm telling you guys, it will start to pick up in this second half. Uh, we just been playing good defense on each other. Two comp players, you know, trying to get a feel of what, what each other likes to run. Right here, amazing switch stickage. And Quinn Ewers, I sent five. He has all day in the pocket, ends up getting 20 yards on that rush. Second and three, after Geezy ran the ball, right here he ends up hitting a flat, gets the first, excuse me, third and inches. But, you know, I don't know. He's, it's just been hard to get a feel on this game, right? Um, third and inches right here. I'm really expecting a run play. That's what he ends up calling. And I don't know. I know he's you conservative. You don't really fumble on those QB runs. But I just don't like the fact that he's taking all these hits with the Ewers. For him, right, he's going to get a, you know, wear and tear. He's going to fumble one of these plays, I feel like. It's just not the move. Well, Milroe, that's understandable. You know, that dude is insane. But with Ewers, it's just like he's a pocket QB. I feel like he's like, you got to throw dots with him. Right here, speaking of dots, zig route. That zig route on that trips tight end side, it's so hard to stop, man. I feel like I always give it up. And Geezy is starting to move the ball slowly. He's, you know, attacking me with the runs. Right here, Baxter to the... 22 yard line you know he has six attempts 71 yards he had it he did have a crazy long running play before half uh, it didn't amount to anything but you know he almost made something happen you know look at our shells right we're running a little cover three hybrid with the cover three cloud on the left we got a you know flats on the right excuse me the left and i had a bad switch stick right there i could should have kept up with that drag and maybe switch stick at the last second in that crosser. I don't know. Like I said, this has been like a weird game. I can't get a good feel of what's going on right here. I do know we play phenomenal, you know, like I said, speed option defense. That's like his fifth big hit. Right here, once more, playing a little bit of coverage. Manned up the slot receiver. He actually has an in route, and we get blessed. I feel like Lawson would have made the tackle, but we manned up the wrong guy. I was expecting verticals. We're calling coverage once more. I should have crashed my D-line either up or down actually do crash it up at the last second right here cloud flag glitch doesn't get his feet in bounds wait for it wait for it texas challenges it and it's gonna end up being a touchdown great job by go geezy right there i was so confused what had happened i had to go back let's actually go back right now and check it out so look guys i do have a cloud flat right here on the right he's gonna call hike and for whatever reason i don't know if this happens all the time or he just had an amazing eye right here and he just so happened to be eyeing it down. The guy gets sucked in. You know, I should have maybe moved him out. There's no baseline in this game. Um, baseline right there would have helped quite a bit. Cloud flat gets sucked in. Cloud flats, I'm starting to realize, are one of the worst zones in this game. I'd probably better off putting a hard flat, maybe switch stick into it right there. 
and trusting the cloud flag. They really don't do anything. They just they just let corner routes be thrown. They match onto stuff and right there, just get sucked inside. So now all of a sudden we're losing. Right here we decide to call dagger. Just trying to hit something right here. I mean, I love Jalen Moreau and then I also hate him at the same time. And it's funny to say, but he just has one of the. He just cannot throw the ball from the pocket, I feel like, you know, especially versus these blitzes and these disengages. It's so hard and so rare for him to actually just pocket dot. You know, I, my pocket could have been a little better. I felt like I made an open read. Right here, we're just a little uncomfortable. We're just trying to roll out. He gives us the drag and we'll take it. You'll you'll see the, the trend of this gameplay when I'm passing. I'm not comfortable in the pocket at all. So by all means and all standards, I really want to get out of the pocket and make some plays with Jalen Monroe, whether it's with his legs or whether, whether we're just throwing a crosser or drag like we just did. Because right here, we decide to audible the inside zone. We were going to decide to pass, but we're like, all right, you know what? We're going to run and take this to the fourth quarter. We were going to take it to the fourth quarter, but we actually end up going out of bounds. So there's just one second left, and we got to call a play. We decide to call this corner strike, and tell me what you can do versus that pressure right there. We're going to rewind it real quick. You see the quick jumps. I, I, I set up protection. I, I should have maybe blocked one more guy. I was, I was throwing something, man. Look at what I was throwing. The corner route was not open at all. Right here, man. When in doubt, RPO it out. Kendrick Law. Get us at least a few yards for fourth, a third and manageable. We try to juke, spin. Well, that's what I was telling you about Law spin. It's really not the best. We're in play action. Just trying to find a way to pick up the blitz, the disengages. Um, he actually blitzes us right here. And we have a perfect play call and we overthrow it tough scenes right there and we are all of a sudden in a position to lose this game so just when we thought you know can we ice it we were in cruise control the whole first half right we got to stop we were up seven with ball at one point now we're down three without the ball uh, we're down three on a fourth down can we clutch up it's an orange throw thank god we were able to you know not overthrow it not underthrow it thank god we're able to catch it because i have seen some stuff Guy was coming in free out through that A-gap, and now we have a chance to just go score seven and play a little D. Right here, Jam Miller, make a move. We actually end up staying in bounds. Want to work on that clock. You know, if we have a breakaway touchdown, we'll take it, right? But I'm thinking right here, do I just take the clock? This is a weird position to be in, right? Um, I don't want Geezy to have the ball, but, you know, the way we've been playing defense, the way he's been playing defense... We might have to just score, and that's what we're going to do with Justice Haynes. That's what I couldn't get that before half, you know, on that fourth and inches, third and inches. I couldn't get that right there. And now I'm thinking to myself, all right, visualize a game plan for defense. He, we know he's going to want to run the ball. We're going to have to get aggressive, get a few run commits in there, and we're going to have to lock in and play D. So right here, guys, I'm I, like I said, I'm trying to play good run D and play good pass D at the same time. I don't want to go down and have to score again, but then again, I don't want to, you know, get, you know, killed at the last second on a last second touchdown so uh we'll see how this game plays out this is a this is a, this is what you want as a madden spectator as a viewer even as a competitor this is what gets your heart and your adrenaline up when you're playing madden college football whatever it is five hundred dollars on the line i know i said that in the beginning this is this is where we got to lock in and prove you know that we're still we're still you know we're still him right here zig route to the right we saw it come in switch stick was just not quick enough it was there, but, you know, we're just not in leverage. Good read right there. Right here, he's going to run the ball. And what I tell you about Bama, we be playing good run D right there, good hit stick at the end to kind of get a little wear and tear on Baxter. I'm liking this a lot because I'm able to set up my adjustments. I'm not getting quick hike. Send five, excuse me, send four right there across the line of scrimmage. Switch stick was questionable. You know, I could have done it better. We get bailed out. That was a dot. We do get bailed out because he was across the line of scrimmage. Good step up by him. I don't know. My man's like, we're, we'll take that. We I just thought we were about to give up like a 30-yard bomb. Instead, we're in a position to get this stop. Switch stick. Switch stick back. Elite defense right here. Make a tackle. He should have ran for the first. Not the first, but he should have ran for a few yards. I know he was going to get tackled because, you know, yours isn't that fast. But, you know, he decides to end up throwing the ball I don't think that was a move right there. And this is it, guys. I didn't know if I wanted to go into double mug and just send the crib. I didn't know if I wanted to play, you know, good defense like I had been out of this um, penny. 
But we decide to stick to our guts, uh, stick to our guns, and run Penny. He has Baxter wide open. We have a true user. Always stay true to the first route, man. And we're gonna rewind that. Look at this user. I was in uh, distress, right? If honestly he has to throw this wheel route and spin with Baxter, that's his best chance. Honestly, that's a first down right there. Law is nowhere close. He misses the read. He was eyeing the post down. Lawson, SWAT team, baby, gets the job done. All we need is one first down, and we're out of this game. Right here, a toss to the right is going to get the job done. We do go out of bounds, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. And as you see right here, guys, there's six seconds left. We're just going to run backwards and secure victory with Jalen Monroe. That's $500 added to the pockets. Next video going to be... PL finals versus KMAC. That's who we match up with in the $3,000 tournament finals. That's going to be a big game. A really, really good game as well. I'm going to break that down next. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace.